Guys, welcome to Pokemon Diamond version. <laughs> this game is from 2007. I haven't played it in such a freaking long time. Like, super long. If you look at it, <laughs> like I, I did um, play it today just a tiny bit, but <laughs> look at that. I have 295 minutes. <laughs> Wait, is that minutes or hours? No, wait, that's hours. <laughs> I have 295 hours in this game. And I never fully completed the Pokedex, but I figured that today I would start a new game. I would totally start fresh and pretty much just go on a nostalgic trip of playing Pokemon Diamond again. Funny story, actually. Uh, I bought this game on eBay. <laughs> or my dad bought it for me. And I looked at it and I was like, this is great. Um, I'm going to enjoy this game so much. And then I got it and it was in English. And I was so upset. Because, well, as you know, I'm from Germany. I, I, I was expecting the game to be in German. But... I was able to actually understand a whole lot of stuff in it, and I would actually say that this game helped me learn English a little bit more. I had English in school already, but I would still say that that's the case. So if we now t uh, go on new game, it tells us that there is already a saved game file. And we would have to press up, select, and B on the title screen if you want to erase the current saved game file. I do not want to do this, but I do. I traded everything over to my Pearl Edition. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a second when I'm deleting everything. Delete all safe data. Yes. Uh, this hurts so much. Like. You don't even know how much I loved this game or playing this game. Oh gosh, <laughs> it's it's happening. Uh, I don't want to do this. I seriously do not want to do this. Oh goodness. Uh, okay. Oh no. Ah. Uh, 200 hours spent on this game. Oh, it's like a hundred days. A little bit less. You won't be able to see the cutscene, so I'm just skipping that. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh my goodness, how much I missed this. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, is this your first adventure? If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. <laughs> no info needed, old man. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball if you'd please. I'll just press A. Does that work? No, no, no. Oh, that doesn't. <laughs> Not that button. The button on the Pokeball. Okay. Oh, my touch screen is broken. Duh. No. Now I... Ah. Technical difficulties. I got it. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy, or are you a girl? 
Well, as much as I love this character model, I'm certainly a guy. Your name is Josh? Yes. Okay, so you're Josh? A fine name, that is. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Barry Damien Tyson Marcus. Those are some cool names, actually. I'll be right back. I'll ask my brother, actually. <laughs> well, my brother... <laughs> my brother suggested this. <laughs> he was like, what is a funny name? And I said Potato Head, but no, he wants this name. Harold, is it? That's your friend's name? <laughs> yes. All right, Josh, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokémon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things. Perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokémon. Oh, I'm so freaking excited. It's going to be great. Cutscene. Is it on top? Okay, yes. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, however, the rare oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection, the rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly to the crestfallen team. Interestingly enough, in Hard Gold, I believe in Soul Silver as well, you've you can actually capture red Gyarados, however you pronounce that. Yeah, like I can't pronounce names, by the way. I have no idea what some Pokemon are called in English. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Oh, nostalgia. Love this music. It's a Wii. It's controlled by a Wii remote. The X button opens the menu. I knew that. Hi, Mom. Josh! Harold came calling for you a little while ago. Harold. <laughs> I don't know what it was about, but he said it was an emergency. Oh. You'll just leave it with that? Oh yeah, right. I can't run yet because I don't have any running shoes. Makes a lot of sense, right? Oh yes, Josh. Don't go into the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. <laughs> That's what I don't get. Like, people are trapped in their cities, pretty much, if they don't have a Pokemon. Just give everybody a Pokemon, then everybody can travel, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. I love Pokemon, but some stuff just doesn't make sense. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Yeah, Mom, because you can't afford one. Sweet. Twin Leaf Town. Let's see, do I have any mail? Ooh, this is my house, not my mom's. Ha, <laughs> mom. That's what you get. Hmm. Hello, who are you? Technology just blows me away. I mean, now I can play with people around the world. Wirelessly. True, that was a big deal, actually. <laughs> now it's like... Normal. Here is where my friend lives. Oh! <sighs> there he is. What was that about? Oh, hey, Josh! Hey, I'm going to the lake. You come too, and be quick about it. Okay, Josh? I'm finding you one million poke dollars if you're late. Oh, jeez. Forgot something. Hill, bro. I probably won't be able to keep up all the voices of all the people. I hope I hope I will. Harold's mom. Oh hi Josh! Are you looking for Harold? <laughs> I love this name. 
He was gone for a second, but then he came running right back home. Wow, that was that was bad. He just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. I better take my bag and journal too. Oh, hey, Josh. We're going to the lake. You said that already. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a 10 million Pokemon find if you're late. Holy crud, bro. I don't even have... Wait. Do I have any money? Oh, I have $3,000. Okay, that's good. <laughs> there he is, my boy. Hey, you saw that news report? That was on TV, right? You know, search for the red Gyarados. The mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake. That show got me to thinking. I'll bet our old leg has a Pokemon like that in it too. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. Alright, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> He's gonna follow me. Can I talk to him? Hey, if we run into a Pokemon, I'm gonna catch it somehow. Do you even have Pokeballs? Because I want to be a Pokemon trainer. You know what a trainer does, right? Makes Pokemon battle and all that. Uh, that's not actually what it's all about. I believe in the story I get back here eventually to like catch a legendary Pokemon. But I'm not super sure about that. I think so though. All right. Do you like, let's find us a red Gyarados. I have probably pronounced this name like three times differently. What's going on? Hmm. Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side. On the other side either. <laughs> hmm. I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine. It's enough that we have seen the lake. Yeah, we get back here to, to, like, get one of the three fairy Pokemon, I think they are. Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh? After being away for four years, it must be exciting again. Hmm, there's one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. I beg your pardon. We'll be on our way. So polite. They must be Canadian. <laughs> what was that about? Those two... Huh? Josh, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass? Nah, problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. Oh, I hope I can change the speed of the text before anything else happens, because that's super annoying otherwise. Oh, no. It's a briefcase? Watch out. People forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? I can just hold A. True. We can try to deliver it, but. Ah! The Pokemon! What's going on? I love this opening. It's like so great. Like you have to choose a Pokemon in order to defeat the others. And like it's not. The Pokemon isn't just given to you. That's what I don't like about the newer games. Look, these are Pokeballs. Let's battle using these. Eh? Which one do you want then? So this is where it gets tricky. I love the ape. I forget its name. This is Turdwig. Um, Chimchar, right. I love it. But Piplup is awesome too, and I love the last evolution of it. And like, the thing is, Piplup eventually, like, it, it's water type, but eventually it will be water ice, I believe. So it's good against fire, but also against leaf, or grass type Pokemon, which are good against water. So I'm probably going with Piplup, even though Chimchir or whatever, Chimchir can actually learn Earth-type moves. 
Turd Turdwig is probably the the worst of all of them, even though it's awesome and super cute. I'll go with Piplup. Because it can do air as well. Oh, a wild Starly came charging. Go, Piplup! It's level 5, isn't it? There we go. Pound or growl? Obviously, pound. Piplup used pound. Growl just decreases the attack, I believe. The wild Starly used growl. Oh! Does it? Or is it defense? Attack fell, yeah. So let's hit it with another pound, shall we? Please tackle me, I don't want to attack you for too long. There you go. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Piplup use pound. There you go. Come on. Yes. First Pokemon beat. The wild star, you fainted. 16 XP? Is that a new level already? Nope, it would have been in the new games. <laughs> ah. <sighs> Your people have totally rocked! But my Turdwig was way tougher than yours. Alright, he, he like takes the better. I like the one that is better against my Pokemon type, but whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll totally crush you, Horold. They were other people's Pokemon though. But we have to use them. They won't mind, will they? Oh crud, oh crud, Dawn is back. <laughs> oh, here's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Huh? Oh no, did you, did you use the Pokemon in here? You did? Oh my gosh, what's the professor going to say? This is so not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. Chill, Dawn, chill. We almost died being attacked by Starlies, or whatever they're called. I'm so looking forward to having running boots. <laughs> hey, it's those people! Is that old guy staring at us? Hmm. I heard from Dawn that you used our Pokémon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. People have been Turdwick. Hmm. I see. That's how it is. Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. <laughs> that was like the most confusing thing when I started. I was like, wait, is, is he not taking my Pokemon? Like, it's his, what the heck? Um, yes. Professor, please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. Bye, Dawn. What was that all the craziness about? I mean... If he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want their Pokemon back? Josh, we should go home too. Yes, I get teleported, I'm glad. <laughs> What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Harald are unharmed? The pref... <laughs> what the heck? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sanjim Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Josh, I think you need to visit him in Sanjim Town. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. Oh, I know. Josh, put, you, put these on. There we go. Going to Sanjim Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to faraway places much faster. Thanks, Mom. Okay, let me read the instructions. I don't need the instructions. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip this. Well, isn't that just nifty? Yeah, Mom. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you have any suggestions what we should be doing, like if there's a certain type of Pokemon that you want me to have in my team or whatever, or if there's special like hidden items or whatever that you know about that I might not know about, please let me know in the comments.
I hope you guys will have a stellar rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. I'll definitely make a series out of this, even if not lots of people want to watch it, because I want to play this freaking game. Like, I love this game. So yeah, I'm gonna save here, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!